nighttime they're going to pass inspection. Can I go deliver them to everybody else? That's Gray's bowl. Did you sample them all? Good girl. Hey there, sweet pea. How are you? Oh, big stretch. Hi. Hi. It's 57 out here this morning on our way to 86, they say. I just heard something run off in the woods up there. Could have been deer. Good morning, Morris. Good morning, buddy. It's my good boy. Hey, Marty. <laughs> Stripe. Oh, and there's Ruby. Good morning, buddy. So, one of our neighbors last night burn stuff and the smoke was so thick when I came in from Taekwondo and there's no wind movement and it's we're breathing in smoke this morning too it must be still smoldering and you know how thrilled that makes me that me and the kitties are having to breathe that in hi good morning Don just went into the garage. He's been working on Ruby. Hey, Donnie. You got just a minute while I get myself settled. Good morning, Ruby. This is what I call full service EV charging. Right? <laughs> According to the National Weather Service, there is fog out there this morning until 10 a.m. But I don't think... Um, it's noticeable fog, but it's not really impacting driving fog. Sky kind of has a nice orange color this morning. Yeah, I'm driving right now. Ruby did that thing where she tried to force me into the right lane behind slow moving traffic six plus miles ahead of my right turn. And, um, uh, I didn't want to be in the right lane right now. I tried to cancel it with the pressing the screen. I tried to turn off the turn signal and finally I just jerked the wheel out and told her, you're not moving, you're not moving. <laughs> Again. Our arrival is, well it says 727 now. It was 731 the last time I looked. 727 is much better. So maybe if we stay in the left lane and go around some of these slow moving vehicles we can actually get Johnny to school on time this morning back a little ways there was a F-250 seriously in the left lane doing 45 and a 55 and him and then there was another pickup truck on the in the right lane and they were basically blocking traffic usually those guys they get too close to your bumper and they go super fast so it was a real change this morning but yeah that kind of was a little messy I don't know what was going on. It just looked like they was just enjoying their morning co morning coffee cruising down the road with no particular place to be I get it but do that in the right lane have 11:30 dental appointment in Cary. I still go to the place I went to when we worked at Regency Park circa 1995 or something like that. It's changed hands. I'm not sure I'm super happy still going there. I probably could change. Um, it's not the way it used to be where you go in pretty much every time and you get the same hygienist and the same dentist and the nice lady that used to be the dentist at that location <laughs> gone there so many years she's retired now. So but, I mean, it's okay. Um, 
but I'll go home and walk with Dawn. I should have plenty of time to turn around and go back out to the dentist. And then I pick up Johnny at 1. So for the dental appointments at 1130 and Carrie, that's an hour for the teeth cleaning and 30 minutes to drive downtown. So I, I told Johnny I should be on time, but I'll let him know. I'll let him know my ETA when I know it, which I do every day, pretty much. Um, so... It's 61 out there and gorgeous for our morning walk today. Well, I tried to let Ruby handle getting from um, Hammond Road over here through Mechanical Boulevard. And um, she did sort of okay with the yield on the US Highway 70 off of Hammond. But then she didn't do good at all in the turn lane to get over here onto Mechanical Boulevard. Coming through that intersection, she had no point of reference for where the double turn lane lines were. And she started to go what would have been head on into the turn lane here, uh, you know, on the other, other side of the road. So I had to take control and bring her back. There wasn't anybody there this morning, but it's very tight through there and you either always have somebody on your left or your right turning with you those are more complicated than single turn lanes and she did not do good with knowing where the uh lanes where the what path the car should actually take through the turn she just didn't seem to know so um anyway i'll see if i can pull that off the dash cam later self-driving I'm out here on the stretch of 401 going into Fuquay I've gotten away from the heavy traffic there's just a few cars around me when I reach over to the Model X dedicated autopilot stock on the left and I twist the end of it usually that would let me set um, my following distance from anything from 1 to 7 but what it's doing now is it's letting me choose um, assertive, average or chill, and also allowing me to set the minimum lane change uh, icon up there that I was going into the lower screen to set. Let me do it again a little closer, make sure you can see. I am pleased to report that once you set the minimum lane change that it doesn't unset it just because you change what other mode you're in. So, neat. Again, I say, Tesla, if you can pop up stuff over there, you need to be showing me the camera with the turn signal. It is allowing or needing more than one click to go from chill to average and from average to assertive, so it's possible. Great, just great. Um, at least she stopped correctly. It's possible that um, 
it still does have seven settings because it takes a couple to get from chill to average and a couple to get across to average and then a couple more to get up to assertive so there could still be seven levels there but you can't granularly see them anymore well i would say that it's looking very close to completion at this point and just beautiful um there is still paper underneath the mural on the ground there but they've removed all the tape up on the wall really did a good job um with the shading and coloring and i don't know it, it looks great i did go check out this artist's work um and he's done some murals at schools and some other places and um it's all really really um well done it's still not open all the way but you can see the flowers now a little bit better i thought i'd better stop by and check it out you never can tell what happens this one is not quite as dark orange as the one uh i uh bought the other day blood good maple is looking bigger nice this year but i got out of the car to get an up close of the clematis vine wow one two three four five six seven flowers at least very pretty they're over here mowing this morning smells like fresh grass that wet earthen smell hey they did come down the trail with the mowers yesterday they did an okay job over here i mean i'm glad they came down the trail i do try to keep the limbs off so they'll get as much of the grass as they can without having to miss and go around things. It's a little wet to be down here. They got sort of have to do it when it's dry. You're getting tipped today for your trash yeah. collecting service a, a quarter. Yeah. Well, the guy in the paper said that he was questioning if he would even bend over for a penny. He said the only reason he would bend over to pick up a penny is because of his mom. And that she used to do it, but he wouldn't himself waste his effort. Wow. Oh, holy crap, look at the nickel now. Oh, some, po some poor kid on their way back from the cupboard or Dollar General or something wasn't careful with their change. Yeah. Too bad they didn't drop a 20. Yeah. <laughs> it is a gorgeous day. We have both been over at least 100 times today. We're tired. We did walk around the track one time and then we walked around the community center one time and the town guy that's responsible for the trash said the basketball court was trashed and he was fixing to go over there and get it. He asked us if we had been by the basketball court and we said, no, we didn't do that. Usually the guys at the basketball court do a better job of keeping their area clean than the baseball people do. We put a bug in his ear about remote Wi-Fi bathroom locks. They got one in town, but that's it. He says he, his job starts at 6.30 every morning just to go around town to all the parks and unlock the bathroom doors. And then it's not his fault, but he's got days off and stuff. And when he's off, it don't happen like clockwork. I know, yeah, they had the Easter egg hunt at Fleming Loop Park, and they said they still ain't got it under control yet. That cleaned up the way it was. Well, Don earned 40 cents in coins and a free basketball today. We learned our lesson about leaving things on the trail that somebody else might come along and we figure they'll eat, they'll just do mischief with it or put it down in the water or well, the one thing they won't do is take it home and play with it on their basketball. Their exercise program. Right. I'm going to take it to Guardian Angel. And since we don't have a need, technically we probably still have an old basketball in the attic, but <laughs> That's soccer. I know. <laughs> Foot control. I don't really want to dribble. So both trees with the birdhouse have poison ivy next to them. The other, this might be oak versus ivy. It doesn't matter. It's leaves of three. But both of the trees do. So when I had some on me earlier, it might have been because I helped Don clear the vine off the tree when we put the box up. And I'm thinking it's karma for anybody that messes with my box in a negative way. Don's not allergic to it, so... We need to remove it from the tree because Don might have to maintain the box. I'm the one that's allergic to everything. If I breathe wrong, you know, 
stare at it funny. Somehow I got bug bites on my back last night. Don had to put cortisone on them for me. I'm allergic to like everything. Although thankfully no medications that we know of. Of course I don't take a lot of medications but they are still hauling a ton of dirt in there with those dump trucks. And the road's got dirt and debris all over it and it is what it is. <laughs> a boy and his ball. I'm on my way to the dentist. <clears throat> I have the typical one minute to spare. <laughs> um, our walk lasted a little longer than normal and I didn't account for that. Um, I'm just always running behind. trying. Uh, you know, I could have an hour and I would try to cram in three more things in the hour and I'd use it up. So having more time wouldn't really help. I would just be doing even more things. <laughs> Hopefully I won't run into any delays. I checked where Ruby said to go and I checked where Google said to go and it was only a, like a one minute difference. And like I said, hopefully I'll, I won't run into any traffic delays and I'll be just on time. I'm almost to the dentist. Um, nighttime woke up this morning with Goopy Eyes, the little black cat in the house, my Lego buddy, my, the one that sleeps on my chest while I do the videos and everything. Um, and I've not seen that from her before. Really not any cats except for a couple of kittens. I mean, I think when her kittens... Uh, Midnight and Mittens showed up. Mittens had a horribly goopy eye um, that healed up with ointment drops. Anyway, it was both eyes and there was some green gunk and some watery looking, you know, discharge from it. And she ate and she was her, you know, acted herself except you could tell her eyes were bothering her. So... Um, I just called and talked to the vet and I didn't catch the name of the medicine, but they filled a prescription for some eye ointment. So I'm going to stop and pick that up on the way from downtown. So Tux will be getting prednisone and nighttime will be getting eye ointment. Um, hopefully that's all it is. I don't know. Did Stripe bring something in and give it to her? Um, None of us in the house has any eye thing. And while a lot of things don't transfer between humans and their domesticated pets, some things do. I don't know. Um, I'm a little worried about her. And I'm focused on she ate breakfast. She greeted me this morning. She greeted me when I came home and was in the house. She was up on the kitchen counter. I held her up uh, close to me and I realized that's not science scientific. But cats run hot at like 102 degrees or something. And she did not feel particularly warm. And I've held them before when they feel warm. I, I just don't think she's running a fever. So anyway, keep your fingers crossed. I'm sure I can give her the, the, the drops, especially if Don or Johnny helps me. But, um, you know, also that, um, you know, that's all it is. And then, you know, I give it to her tonight and again tomorrow morning and she's looking better. Hopefully she doesn't get too much pollen on her. <laughs> I couldn't quite park in the spot up here where I usually like to park. That's all right. I can always use more walking. Ha. <laughs> I'd rather not do more walking today. The dogwoods are gorgeous. Look how pretty. There's four of them there. They look healthy and in good shape too. I'm impressed. 12.30, perfect. I've got 30 minutes to get downtown and uh, that'll be easy. I don't have to come back, no cavities, so I'm very pleased about that. And uh, all was good. Yeah, a little bit of an angle here. Sometimes that happens and there's a little bit of wind pressure too. Oh, hey Ruby. Is it time? for me to joke again about Don following me all over town. Well, I guess in this case, technically I'm following Don, but. Boy, I've been having to come up on the interstate to get back over to the right side of town to go to Johnny's school lately. More times than I want.
Johnny dropped off. He's volunteering for the young kids testing first, makeup testing. And then his testing is after that. So 8.15 pickup. He's going to be up there for a while tonight. It's 4.40. Usually they have the testing on the weekend. Regular end makeup. But um, they're having that Taekwondo Championship, K2 Championship, which Johnny's not going to because of, um, I think it's prom commitment. Um, anyway, that's why it's on Wednesday this time instead of the usual weekend Saturday stuff. Don and I were asleep at the house. I just don't even know how to tell you at this point in the year how exhausted we are. It's just, we're, we're just exhausted. I did get Nighttime's first round of eye drops in her eyes. She wasn't upset about it, but she wasn't happy about it either. They did look all red and unhappy, and hopefully the eye drops are soothing and helpful. And yeah, it really is 87 out there. Um, we're going to cool off over the weekend, though, significantly before we heat right back up. It's not going to be a nice day here Saturday. I really need two items that I didn't get last night. So, I'm going in pretty quick and then back home. I got to get the cat chicken out of the Instant Pot and get the corned beef brisket for dinner in the Instant Pot. So, I really can't dawdle too long browsing. <laughs> It is every bit of 87 out here. It's very warm. Very warm. Um, Walmart has gotten more flower deliveries. Well, I walked the entire store. I got what I wanted and I'm in and out as fast as I could be. Don's working really hard. He's organizing still old file cabinet stuff, scanning things, yeah. making stuff up on Google Drive. He's been he's working hard. I have paperwork that goes, original paperwork that I'm scanning that goes back to 1948. Some of your mama's stuff? I got it. Wow. Yep. Okay. I'm going to be Mr. Organized in just a little while. Two or three months. <laughs> well, that's good. I, um... Clean the fish tank, put in a super cool new fairy garden. I mean, it's for a fish tank, but there's really great looking glow in the dark building in there. And I don't know, vacuumed in gray, moved her out and vacuumed her and did some other stuff. And yeah, she's been working really hard. I've been hearing the vacuum cleaner and the old, you know what, every now and then. <laughs> Well, Johnny's ready. Yeah. The corned beef is ready in the Instant Pot. Yeah. Thank God for Instant Pot yeah. and people eating meat at our house because yeah. it really makes the whole cooking thing. I'll just pull it out, slice it, throw some mustard on the plate, and we'll be good. That's right. Strawberries for dessert tonight. That's right. They, they were good yesterday. Yeah. All the detail will be lost in the video, unfortunately, but the moon is pretty amazing right now. stopped over here because the true definition of herding cats you know I forgot to look to see if the car saw Marty will the car see sees Johnny does it see a kitty no it doesn't see a kitty sees Johnny not kitties <laughs> 